10, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 10, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 10, 12 and a half, so $10 to buy a number. 31. It's auction day. Found a big hoard of Chevrolet parts and other mixed makes. This guy restored refurbished parts, sold parts, bought out parts inventories, and there's all kinds of stuff here. There's some NOS pieces, new old stock, there's some replacement parts, there's Buick stuff, GM stuff, mostly Chevrolet. So we're gonna show you a little bit of what's here and show you what we buy. I'm here bidding for Joe. He's out loading a pickup today at another place, so he can't be here. So I've got my bid card, and we'll show you what we find. Antique dashboard said wood grained surface on there. They had special paint colors, special brushes. That's a whole art in itself. These pieces in the black primer are all brand new dealer parts that have never been installed on cars. Several of these heads are NOS, new heads, cranks, these crates are all cylinder blocks. There's some amazing graphic art on some of these old packages, so I want to show you that.
These here are just super cool. Stuart Warner stuff's pretty collectible, so I could see somebody wanting these just to display the boxes. Back in the day, the rebuilders used to do exchange on rods, rebabbit them to refurbish them. Exhaust gaskets, oil filters, Varcon was a Gamble's brand. Hydraulic shock links, fuel pumps. There's PD. You can just imagine that cute little guy up on stage dancing in the auto parts show. Each one of these is just a unique piece of industrial design. The colors, the packaging, just neat relics of their time. Bunch of GM trim moldings still in the wrapper. Most of these are Chevrolet. Guy was real good about marking the part numbers on these, so should be able to identify a lot of them. More trim moldings, all brand new. We've got Crane Man. He can dance next to PD in the show. Might be a little awkward with his bucket feet. This is all NOS Buick trim. They put like a, I think it's rolled on rubber coating. So it protected the pieces from getting scratched in transit. Kind of a unique way from the factory they protected the trim. 50s and 60s era stuff. Cool little hardware bag with the printed crest logo on it. Where else would you find it? There's one lonely Ford part. Pretty unique packaging with the Lincoln and Continental and Edsel branding.
is, did you ever get paid? Not yet. GM loved to acquire their suppliers, so in 1918 they bought Delco. Remy was a separate company. They were all organized under United Motors, and once GM owned it, they kind of exclusively used their manufacturing for GM vehicles. AC built spark plugs and dash gauges. They were a separate company, but they merged with Delco in 1972 to make AC Delco. Back when Made in USA actually meant something.
So he made quite the haul of parts, some mechanical, some body and trim. Got these 1940 to 48 sedan delivery seats. Got some sheet metal, good rest free rockers. Almost all of this is 41 to 48. Inner fenders, coupe doors. Lots of body trim, 40s, 50s, 60s. More trim, speedometers, clocks, bumper guards, linkages, dipsticks, carburetors. dome lights, more speedometers. One unique and rare piece that we got was this 1920s Stuart Warner. It's a combination spotlight and mirror. Show you the Stuart Warner V-Ray. Cool piece. Lots of NOS and used body trim. 40s, 50s, 60s. Joe did buy all of the 216 cylinder blocks. Some of these had been bored and had matching pistons. Not really sure what the plan is with these. They might be repurposed as some kind of industrial decor, coffee tables, something along those lines. These are 1942 Chevrolet car park light trim moldings. You can see there's the chrome ones and then the gray painted ones. 1942 model cars came out in 41 and so early production had the chrome and then February of 42 is when 1942 model year production stopped and so 42 was only a half year and they made a lot more of the replacement parts and so when they did the parts, they did those first to proof the production line. And so consequently, there's almost in some cases more 42 parts around than there are cars to put them on. We bought almost all of the stainless and chrome trim moldings, Chevrolet, Buick, and so that'll be fun little project for us to go through our parts books and our picture books and online image searches and identify these parts, match them up what they fit. My favorite part of this auction was the vintage graphic art on the package design. So hope you all enjoyed watching my footage of that in this video. The Perfect Circle Doctor of Motors, that was a 
advertising deal that they did. Kind of a neat relic of its time. GM accessories banner there. Just awesome, awesome logo. I want to paint that on a vintage sign. Pontiac center horn button for the steering wheel. Great industrial design piece. And then the little chrome rockets there. Those are actually used for aftermarket fender skirts. 1960s and 70s Buick steering wheels. Brand new, new old stock. Never been on a car. That green one's unique because it has a rim blow feature. Little horn pad is actually in the outer edge of the wheel. My favorite piece, fun piece, was this 30s Oldsmobile hubcap. Why you ask? Well, for fans of A Christmas Story, you will recognize the hubcap that the kid is asked to hold with the lug nuts in it. And he lets go and they go flying. Rubber baby buggy bumpers.